Welcome back. Well, his mates think he's mad, but it only drives Roscoe McGlashan to prove them all wrong. Roscoe's ultimate dream is to be the fastest man on Earth by breaking the world land speed record, and he hopes to do it in a rocket-powered machine that has to be seen to be believed. This is the man with the ultimate need for extreme speed. The dream started at 12 years of age. I've been on the job ever since. In the Australian record books, yeah. Roscoe yeah. McGlashan has driven the fastest car in the country. He broke the Australian land speed record back in 1994, driving Aussie Invader 2. It reached over 800 kilometres per hour, four times faster than the highest speed on your family car. But that's not enough. Roscoe still wants the world record, and he's building another fast car to do it, Aussie Invader 5R. Just something I've always wanted to do, and it's probably more of an obsession. It's just, 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 that's my mission in life. It's something I've got, to, I've got to achieve. How many attempts is this for you to break the world land speed record? How many attempts? So I'd really have to put the thinking cap on about that one, but I think we've been to the, uh, been to the salt possibly uh, five or six times. Uh, but this is the third car that we've built. And you're going to be turning 60 this year. Keep that quiet, please. <laughs> Knock this bulkhead Team back. manager Peter Taylor's been part of Roscoe's crew for almost 30 years. You've got to have that persistence, that determination, and uh, I've never met anybody with as much of either as what Roscoe has in order to do this. And I think without that, we would never have got this far. The world record is held by British fighter pilot Andy Green. The Poms built a car uh, with two big jet engines in it, and uh, back in 97 went out and went 1,227 kilometres an hour or 763 miles in the old language. Well, the Brits might have built a jet car, but Roscoe and his team is building a rocket car. It's designed to reach a maximum speed of 1,600 kilometres per hour. 400 k's faster than the speed of sound. Mark Reed's so, the team's yeah, technical um, guy. Yeah, I mean, nobody's ever gone through um, at, up these, at these speeds, so therefore um, we really don't know what's, the, what's on the other side. You know, and as much as we can predict with computers and things what we think is going to happen, um, that may not be the case. Well, we consider this is the best concept car ever devised for the land speed record. It's the most powerful. Uh, it's uh, got 62,000 pound of thrust, which equates to around 200,000 horsepower. 200,000 horsepower is 350 times more powerful than a Lamborghini. And I don't know about the acceleration on your car, but how's this? As soon as the four motors light, uh, we'll go from standing start to 1,000 mile an hour, or 1,600 kilometers an hour, in 20 seconds. As you can see, the rocket car still needs a lot of work. Here we have a uh, four and a half metre long tank. It's a hydrogen peroxide tank, runs from the front of the car to about there. Here we have a nitrogen bank uh, of bottles that go in here and they're actually used to blow the hydrogen peroxide down into the motor. So, driver sits here, very, very sturdy roll cage. Uh, behind the driver is a fuel tank, 400 litres of fuel tank from there to there. All the hardware and everything for the rocket sits here, the accumulators, the actu uh, actuators, the whole deal. The motors are that long and they, they start there and they finish there. So the four motors fit inside there, back axle, solid back wheels through there, piece of cake. You can imagine it's designed to do this and lift off of it, but horizontally. We're not the only ones aiming to beat the world land speed record next year. We've got some pretty serious uh, competition. The, the, the British are out there again to, um, uh, to, to go a lot faster. They've heard that we're building a car to go a thousand mile an hour, so they, um, they jumped in on the bandwagon and are putting another car together themselves. So. And they've got more money. Team Bloodhound is spending about 120,000 Aussie dollars a month to design their own super fast car. All up, Roscoe and the team need to raise three million to finish the car and buy enough fuel. We'd probably need, we're gonna need 50 tonne of product of oxidizer to run the car, which is around a million dollars US. After the car's finished, the next challenge for the team is to find the perfect flat surface for a shot at the world record. That could take them to South Africa or maybe Dubai. The first time I sit my butt in this car and go to light that week, I'll be terrified. I look around and I say to myself, well, what am I doing here? This is, this is absolutely crazy and this thing's got a lot of power. And being a rocket, the, the, to pull, it, pull the throttle on is just as good a chance it could possibly blow up. Pisa Keiki says, all things going well, Roscoe and his team hope the super fast car will be ready for trial by the end of the year.